All right, we're going to start assembling this PJN3 unit. Um, we have our tools all laid out. We're ready to go. We have our impacts here. We have a 7 16th uh, kind of deep socket, and then we have a deep socket 7 16th uh, hammer, vice grips, a uh, drill with a 1364 drill bit, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, and a pneumatic rivet gun. Uh, a regular rivet gun could be used if you didn't have uh, air power. Same thing with the impact wrenches. If you just had a, a ratchet and a wrench, you could do it that way as well. Um, we also have all our parts, small parts laid out as well. We have a slide latch, door pull, a spring retainer, door handle, a spring, and then other various parts, door check cable, mirror. Uh, we'll go through those parts as we assemble. Uh, so we have all, everything is ready to go and laid out and uh, let's start assembling. Uh, when you order your uh, PJN3 unit, if you get it uh, unassembled to you, you will get all these small parts uh, shipped to you in a bag, a parts bag. So you will have all these parts available for you. All right, we're going to get started with our assembly. We have our front uh, assembly here, and we have our base leaning up against this table. Uh, if you didn't have a table like this in your shop or anything of this height that you could uh, support your front assembly on when you lay it on, you could use a, uh, a tank standing on end to support your front assembly. So let's get this up the door, and that exposes the two holes on each side of the jam. Line up the holes of the jam with the, the slots in the base. And uh, get to measure the opening. A, a good idea would be to uh, put the bolts in the, all the four holes, get your nuts and your washers to hold that down but not tight. Get your uh, door centered in your, in, your, in your opening and then tighten everything down. Uh, we're taking the uh, PC000122 bolts with a PC123 washer and a PC000140 uh, lock nut. And we're going to put the washer on the back side of that uh, bolt and then run our nut up. Now these are have a nylon insert in them to keep them from loosening up and backing off. Uh, we're going to now uh, tighten everything down what we'll do is we got our 716 impact uh, our, with our socket with our impact wrench and then a Phillips screwdriver. We'll uh, tighten up this side first and then we will uh, check our gap between our door and the jam, making sure that's consistent all the way down and then we'll tighten up this bolt. After we get done with those, we will tighten up the top one. Okay. Making sure the cap is consistent, we'll open up the door. We'll get the other one. Using that uh, same 7 16th impact, we can now uh, install the lag screws in the front. When tightening these up, it's important not to over tighten them. Just go till they get snug, otherwise you'll strip out the plastic. All right, now we're gonna stand the unit up on, on the base. And we can start assembling the, uh, the door part. All right, we're going to uh, assemble our door handle and our slide latch now. Uh, that's done by slipping the front edge, the leading edge of the door pull, into the slot, and popping it in, and then just insert your slide latch. Now to guide it on the back side, you simply just take a screwdriver, push it back so that the leading edge of the slide latch will go and ride up on the front edge of that screwdriver, and it pops into place. We uh, insert the spring assembly into the hole of the door. And then taking the spring retainer, we take the two tabs, insert those into the two holes, and hinge it down into position. And that will be held in place with two PC000105 rivets.
After that's installed, you slip the spring up into there, guiding the cable through the hole. And we're going to assemble the uh, handle, the grab handle on the inside of the door using the top hole of the door pole and a PC000105 rivet. We will fasten that in place in the bottom hole, the other side of the handle. We're going to install the door check cable. That will be held in place with two PC000102 rivets. He's placing uh, backup washers on the heads of the rivets prior to installing the rivets on the door check cable. Position the bracket as shown and rivet in place. Now we're going to install the mirror. Okay, Mark. Mark is going to, he peeled back the uh, covering the, over the mirror and then he's inserting the plastic snap fasteners into the holes of the mirror and into the door to hold it in place. Now we're going to install the end of the cable of the spring into the cable clip on the back side of the door jam. What Mark is doing is using a claw of a hammer to use his leverage to pull the cable out. Once he gets the cable pulled out, he will then clamp a vice grips on the cable holding it into position. Close the door, insert the end of the cable into the slot, open the door back up, and then release the cable, the vice grips. Now we're going to assemble the door check cable to the top of the jam using a PC000104 rivet and then a uh, PC000168 washer and a PC000106 washer on the back side. So the rivet goes through the jam, put the looped end of the cable on the rivet, put the large 168 washer and then the 106 washer and fasten in place. Alright, we're going to start assembling our toilet seat here. All the parts come to you as you see. We'll leave the uh, plastic on the lid for safety reasons, just to keep it from getting scratched up. Basically, you have your, uh, your post, so tear, your, tear your plastic away. Put your lid with your seat, insert the post, and then insert a snap. And snap into the hole. Snap into place when it's flush with the outside. Pull the seat into the tank. Very straightforward process. Put the studs through the tank and then just tighten up the nut on the other side. Now, using the same table that we used to assemble the front to the base, we're placing the three side panels on that. Again, if you didn't have a table like this to assemble your three sides together here, you could use uh, two tanks on end in the center to support that one side panel. We're going to rivet the side panels together with the corner extrusion using PC000100 rivets with PC000106 backup washers. When riveting the sides together, it's important to rivet from the front side of the unit, which is facing down now, with the backup washers towards the rear. Locate your center hole, insert your corner extrusion onto the side, lining up the holes. Slip the edge of the side into the corner extrusion, lining up the holes again, and rivet in place. Repeat the process for the other side, lining up the center hole with the corner extrusion and then slipping the edge of the corner extrusion over this side panel.
Stand the three sides up and then wrap those three sides around the base of the unit. And we'll repeat the process that we just did with the two rear corners with the front corners using the same rivets and washers. Now we're going to fasten the sides to the base with the PC000192 lag screws. But before we do so, we have to shim up the back corners with a couple quarter inch shims. Making sure the side panel is centered on the base. Drive a lag screw through the center. Again, making sure not to over tighten and strip out the screws and the plastic. Then working from the back to the front, finish driving in your legs. Repeat this for the other side. Now using a drill with a 1364 drill bit, drill through the dimples that are marked in the roof while pulling the roof down into position and into your front assembly. Working your way around the unit, making sure to pull the roof down. Drill all your holes. This is our plastic variety. It's a PJP3 front of panel on our goes on our standard PJN3 unit. The assembly process that you just watched is the same, except for when you fasten the roof to the front panel. You would drill only through the outside layer of plastic on the front panel, and you would install the roof to the front using 105 rivets and 106 backup washers behind the head of the rivet before it's installed. Pull the tank completely tight against the floor plate in the front, and then while holding the tank into position, drill the side holes and rivet the tank into place. Mark was drilling the holes and rounding out the hole just a little bit to give a little extra clearance for the rivets. The screens can be slipped into position at this time, making sure the wider end of the screen is facing the center of the side panel. And that the ribs on the inside of the screen are facing the inside of the unit. Making sure the screens are completely centered on the side, drill through the center hole of the two screens. Insert a rivet there temporarily. And then drill the other two holes. Locate your teepee dispenser where you like to have it placed in your unit. That is a, simply a matter of preference for you. Using a black marker after it's level and in position, mark the four holes on the underside of the dispenser onto the side panel. Drill the four holes out using a 1364 drill bit. We're going to rivet the tank into position using PC000103 rivets with 106 backup washers on the inside of the tank. Now rivet your roof into position using the PC000100 rivets with backup washers on the inside of the unit. Rivet your screens into position using those same rivets and washers. You can see Tom and Mark have developed a nice system of knowing when to rivet. 
by Tom knocking on the side panel, letting Mark know when to rivet. Now you can install your TP dispenser at this time using again those same rivets, the PC000100 rivets with 106 backup washers on the inside. We're going to slip our vent stack up in through the roof and then down into the recess of the tank and then using a drill again with a 1364 drill bit drill through the recess of the tank and into the vent stack and now Tom is riveting in place using a PC-00117 rivet. The urinal came shipped inside of your tank. Simply place the spout of the urinal into the hole that's already drilled on the top of the tank. Level the urinal out on the side panel and then using a 1364 drill bit, drill through the urinal and into your side panel. Rivet from the inside out with the urinal, with backup washers placed on the outside of the unit. Now the rivets that were used to hold the urinal in place were the uh, PC000101 rivets. They are the long, large flange rivets with the backup washers on the outside. We're going to wrap up the assembly of this unit by installing a TP rod and lock. And assembly is complete. That wraps up our assembly of the uh, PJN3 unit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Tom and Mark for helping us out, put this together. And thank you for buying our products. Have a great day.